Right. Oh, I shouldn't have sniffled there at the beginning of the intro. A bit rude of me, but hi guys, and welcome to Minecraft. Now, you're thinking, you haven't played this in a while, Jay. Well, this isn't your usual playthrough, as you can sort of tell from the title. I'm going to be playing a game called Mines, which is sort of basically when Minecraft meets um, Days. So yeah, I'm going to play on this server. I have just been killed, but that's fine because I hadn't done much, so... Um, this video, I'm going to quickly go over the rules. So, right, I hope you can see this, guys, because it's HD. So, I know the chat's a bit annoying, but... Food is very important, as each piece of food restores half a heart and regen from a full hunger bar is disabled. It is hard to find, so food should be your number one priority. Sampers and players make this world very dangerous. You are going to need to find gear so you can face threats around you and have a cha any chance of survival. Snowballs will save your life. Use them to distract zombies so you can make your escape or lure a horde towards your worst enemy. Headshots do more damage. Headshots do more damage to a zombie. However, arrows can be hard to come by, so be sure to aim true. Arrows are limited to 15 a stack. Health potions are the most effective way to get health. Um, also, you can read the tips in chat as well. The, so yeah, they are only found in a few places near the coast. Stock up before you head into the dangerous north. Diamond got your attention? Inventory, inventory management is vital to your survival. Most items do not stack. You won't be finding any of these beauties out there. Rumours of a disease that is contracted by the zombie bite have spread, though no one can confirm it. If the rumour is to be believed, milk is the only cure. Tired? Go to sleep. Scared? Good. Healing ointment. Um, so that's healing ointment, I guess. I guess that's like a powder. She is. Used with a bandage to heal other people. Antibiotic ointment. This sword will probably save your life many times. Always handle it with the utmost respect. So, server full, server list at minds.net. It's currently down, but yeah, you guys should have seen or paused the video. Um, and you could have had a look at like, the URLs and stuff if you guys do want to play this. It is free now. So, this hacks, this axe has a large swing and can hit a group of zombies. Crouch to swing hard enough to kill multiple zombies. When you take damage, you might start bleeding. While bleeding, you slowly take damage. Use paper as bandages to stop bleeding. If you are more than 250 meters from a player, you can't hear them, and they can't hear you. If you are old an ender eye, you can talk with anyone else who is holding an ender eye. Zombies run faster, think smarter, hard bigger, smell uglier, hit harder, and overall, they will kill you. So like I said, it's like Days meets Minecraft. There's no skeletons, there's no creepers, just zombies, but it's good. Many items have to be crafted. This includes the best type of food. However, crafting tables are not found everywhere. Make careful decisions on what you carry. Your experience level is your current thirst level. So that's the 20. It's not my bar, it's the 20. So carry lots of water. You can die from dehydration. Empty bottles can be refilled from a water source. Your experience bar right now is visibility to zombies. So if I'm jumping, it's going to go up. If I'm running and jumping, look at that. It's like full. It's like, look at me. Blah, 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 blah. So, depending on how you move, you are more visible. Nighttime and rain lower your visibility slightly. There are two kinds of chests. One loot chest, two player chests. Loot chests are the source of everything they are found in buildings. Player chests can be placed anywhere. Weapons are found around the world. Wood and basic iron can be found near the coast. The best gear is found by heading into the dangerous northern part of the map. A hoe allows harvesting of wheat, melon and mushroom. Think about what buildings might have tools. Use cob shovels on cobweb and cactus. So this guy's... Right, that's it. So to play this mod, right, all you need to do is just come on the server. You just need a clean Minecraft and to come on this server. So let's go mine slash spawn. You're too far away from spawn. What? Mines... Spawn. There we go. So I've spawned in the world. Um, I'm by an ocean. Um, as you can see, my thirst level is now 19. And there's a cobweb over there. So yeah, we'll just do a quick life, I guess. Um, I'll keep this out. Um, 
So as you can see, a lot of people are dying, a lot of people have been murdered. There's a very a huge amount of PvP in here. In fact, you know what, let's head up to this castle, shall we? Let's see what's up here. Let's have a wander up here. I can see another player. So hopefully they're friendly. I'm not sure if zombies can spawn in the dark or what, but... Well, I think... Oh, nobody wants to fight, does he? Does he want to fight? Fuck it. He's going to get a fight whether he likes it or not. He's a zombie! Wow, we died. So let's just reconnect. We'll go on the server one. So yeah, there's the URL for what you need to do. EU-public.minds.net Please wait oh, 18 more seconds. That's kind of cool. I think it sort of gives uh, an annoying feature to death. Thank you very much for that. It's always great. Five more seconds. One, two, three, four. And we've got number three. So... Right, slash mines spawn. I'll probably try and play on server 2, by the way, so if any of you do want to play with me, then I'll probably be on server 2. Um, we've spawned right next to a town. Let's hopefully find some loot. So yeah, I don't think you can destroy any of the buildings or anything like that. I don't think. Let me just try. No. Actually, I wonder if I could use that to my advantage. No, I can't. I was going to try and glitch through it, but it's not going to let me. I suppose there's a good way of looking through something, but yeah, I see chests in there. But I can't see any zombies. Here we go. I've got a feel in this area. We're out of the church. So heading to the church would not be a good idea. It seems. It's sort of difficult to read chat because there's that much shit going on in it. It's just spam. East breeding room. Ooh, I found some pants. So let me equip them. There we go. Sweet. Ooh, there's a chest. It's got some rotten flesh. Well, we're not hungry at the minute, but we'll take it anyway. I see people. I don't know if they're friendly or not. I'm not going to risk it. I'll just stay out of the way. I hear another guy. Right, fuck it. I'm just trying to avoid people at the moment. Um. Ooh. So that guy's just going around PKing everyone. I'm going to have a look what loot we got. So, rotten flesh. I'm just going to throw the rotten flesh away up here. Um, Rose Red's the healing tonic. We've got a water bottle, we've got some bandages. <laughs> Fuck! Bollocks! Fuck me, that made me jump. Right, last life and then I'm going to call it. Oh, so yeah, you get a band sort of thing on all the servers, which makes sense. Yeah, wait more seconds. Last life, and then fuck it. So. But yeah, there is a penalty. If you go to the website, there's an FAQ and it does explain like the 
the penalties and such um, for just killing everyone you see. You end up with a red name, which just basically means you're a bandit. In fact, I should start looking at stuff like that. Oh, well, apparently no, he's killing six people in one life. So yeah, there's a lot of activity here. Well, the fuck? So yeah, it doesn't seem like there's many friendly people on here. It did say as well only to sprint if you're trying to get away from something. But I'm going to head towards this. I see a chest at the top. I think everybody else must have missed it. It's a bit weird how you start with an... Ah, oh, right, let me just run through here. I've not got a shovel, so... That is going to take some time to get through. Oh, there's nothing in the chest. I can just open it from down here. Sprinting and jumping causes you to long and go very quickly. Try to minimize sprinting. See? It even says it here again. Ooh. Damn it. Oh, well. It's looted. Left quick with bandage. Then ointment. Then shears. So yeah, you can heal other people. Holy shit, man. Look at them zombies. <laughs> Fucking flies! I don't know if to kill that guy or not. I suppose I could. Well, let's see. I do think he's going to come over here and try and pick a fight. Let me just quickly loot in here. Watermelon. Ooh, we got some food. 18 is my thirst, isn't it? Yep, he knew he'd want to fight. Wait, then again he is taking poison damage, because we can win him. What the fuck? So yeah, I did apparently kill someone. Ooh! Sweet. That was a bit camp- Ah! Fuck me! Julie XD murdered me with a sword. How the fuck did that zombie just appear? I don't get that. Anyway guys, I just wanted to show this off. Um, so thank you for watching. I might do some more parts if you guys want me to, but it seems a bit chaotic at the minute so thanks for watching guys see you next time